Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm not gonna lie, I am, I'm running on what feels like no energy, but I'm here because I really wanna do a reading for you. Um, and sometimes my best readings come from very weird energies. You know, I think that there's something about being at your absolute lowest that can bring such powerful energies. I think about when, you know, I've been the most sad in my life and I'll write a poem and it's like, not bad. And you know what, Scorpio? I think that's something we are collectively pretty good at. It's like we could have the worst day ever and somehow manage to still do something right. And we need to give ourselves credit for that. So if right now you're feeling like a bag of potatoes and you're thinking man i messed this up and i made that mistake just think about that one thing you did really good even though you didn't feel the same right so we got to give ourselves grace because life is it's too hard um and we got to keep going so um i want to bring you a reading though i want to see what you need to hear the most right now um and yeah Hope you're all doing amazing. Thank you for being here. The sun, that, yes, that's what we need. We need the sun. We need that, that happy, positive, blissful energy right now. I feel like you are getting recharged by something though. Um, there's something happening in your life right now, Scorpio, that is recharging your soul. Maybe you feel like your body is still catching up, right? Maybe some of us, we need to catch up on our sleep. We need to eat a little bit better. We need to hydrate. You know, maybe physically we're still kind of getting there. But spiritually and within your soul and in, in your heart space and, you know, that sacral um, or not sacral, um, solar plexus. I mean, the sacral space is interesting too, speaking chakra wise. We're not going to get into that. Um Scorpio, I feel like something is charging up your soul. And that makes me so happy because you deserve happiness. We have judgment, uh, with, which is Pluto. So we're going to say this is your energy coming through. We have High Priestess, which is Pisces. We have Knight of Wands. And we have you. This is Scorpio. This is death. Um, some of us may feel like death, right? And it's like, I feel like death. No pun intended, but here I am. And I feel like the universe is saying, Scorpio, you need to give yourself more credit on the daily and not just when you do something good. I feel like there could be a mixture of reasons why this is difficult for us. I feel like right now, collectively, Scorpio is going through what feels like a transformation that is being stretched out very thin, right? It's like we normally go through transformations kind of like rapid fire. Um, I feel like maybe in the past few years, you can think of a few times where there were some cycles in your life, some changes, and it was pretty quick. It was a quick turnaround. This cycle that we're currently in, all Scorpio suns, uh, maybe, you know, for those of you that really identify as a Scorpio moon or have Scorpio rising and maybe some Scorpio and other placements in your charts, this cycle that we are in is a slow burn, okay? It's a slow burn compared to other cycles. And the reason why we could get into the astrology, we can get into the placements. It could be because of Saturn. It could be because of, I don't know. It, it could be a lot of things. I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to butcher anything. But I do know for a fact that Scorpio is going through a transformation that is being stretched. Why is it being stretched? I don't have the answer to that yet. But my theory is that there's a reason for why the transformation needs to last a little longer than normal. I feel like judgment right now could be that the how fast this transformation ends for you specifically has everything to do with how you see yourself. Perspective and self-perception is the key to how this goes down. Some of us are not in the environment that allows us to think about ourselves in that way. Some of us are dealing with stress, um, like a lot of it, right? Some of us are dealing with some health issues. Some of us could be going through a lot of, you know, work-related things, family-related things, relationship things. It's like, when are we going to really have the time to sit down with ourselves and really think about things the way that everyone says we should? But if you allow it, 
I feel like you're gonna realize a lot of things that have been kind of put on the back end. One of them being that you've been really hard on yourself and maybe there are some things that you haven't allowed yourself to process, right? Maybe there are some traumatic events that you went through in the last few months or even in the last year that you still haven't touched because you're saying to yourself, I can't think about that right now. But it's there and you know it, right? But you haven't given yourself the time to process. And I feel like this is, again, this is what's creating that slow burn feel. The faster you get to the things, the faster we get to the next step in the cycle. However, I feel like with the High Priestess, your intuition is at the highest that it has probably ever been, Scorpio. Your intuition, your ability to feel and see and know is on another level and some of you don't even realize it but those of you that do you know what i'm talking about it's it's that sense of you walk into a room or you're having that interaction with this person and you can feel the energy you can see the auras you can sense something is going to happen this is what's going on it's like just a knowing it's a general knowing there's no real great way to describe it other than just you know really having that intuition in like the palm of your hand. I feel like with the death card, this is of course, you know, the energy of Scorpio, but do you really know what that means? Do you really know what it means to be in a constant state of transformation? Have you really been able to ask yourself how much that's affected you? You know, we're constantly going through things. We're constantly going through cycles. Um, everyone does, right? It's not just a Scorpio thing, but every sign has its its niche, right? And for Scorpio, the niche is that we are always evolving. We're always going through things that shape us and we are water, so we are gonna take the space of where we're at. And some of you right now could be taking up the space of somewhere you don't wanna take up the space. And I feel like the death is inviting you to revisit what kind of space you wanna take up because you deserve the choice. You deserve the option. Right. If you don't want to fit in a vase and you want to fit into a, I don't know, a bathtub, you should be able to. It's a strange example, but this is the energy that I'm, this is what I've got right now. This is what I'm working with. I feel like the Knight of Wands is going back to what's igniting your soul. And I feel like for some of you, what's igniting your soul is learning about yourself. It's kind of going deep into this introspection, into this journey of really getting to know you and saying, man, this is powerful. I know, I know what I know now, and I know that I didn't know it before, and the, the changes that I'm making because of that knowing, it's taking me places, and I'm feeling things, and I'm seeing things, and I'm living things, and I'm experiencing all kinds of, you know, it, it's, there's nothing like it. And I feel like the Knight of Wands, for some of you, could be even something more specific, where it's not just you getting to know yourself, it's you doing something with that knowledge that is literally changing your life. Some of you could be going on I don't know let's say a trip it's like maybe you've decided I'm going to travel the world right I want to continue to learn about myself taking up other spaces that I've never been in before some of you are saying I want to go to school and finish my degree and do that thing that I've always imagined myself doing I want to be that person some of you are allowing yourself to fall in love even though you know that Scorpio has trust issues and it's not easy but you want to feel that way so you're you're going with the energy of a person that has shown that they are trustworthy and that they love you and that they want to be there for you. And some of you, you're, you're going in the, that feeling, you're going with love. And, you know, so much of what's happening here for you, Scorpio, is so powerful. But a lot of you are still kind of just going through the motions and not recognizing how much power you have within you. And I feel like the sun is meant to light that up. Right? It's meant to bring all of that out so you can see just how much of a powerhouse you are, even in a world that tries to chew you up and spit you out. Right, You are still that person no matter what. Um, just for good measure, let's go ahead and clarify the High Priestess. want to know what your intuition is, is um, guiding you towards right now. Although a spirit guide just said that's private information. That's funny. All right. So we have the six of wands. I feel like your success is connected to your intuition. Some of you 
um, could be into things like, you know, tarot, right? Some of you could be into the unknown, things that are taboo, things that other people might not understand, but your success is somehow connected to your intuition. Maybe some of you are lawyers or doctors or somewhere in between, right? Maybe you work with people and that sense of knowing what you know, it helps you in that area, right? In that arena of your life. And I feel like you're going to be successful if you keep going with that and you keep using that because it's a tool that you were given, right? It's a God-given tool, that intuition that you have and your success is connected to it. So stop putting it to the side, thinking that it's, it's just that feeling. There's something to it. Ace of Swords, Temperance, Page of Swords. You're discovering something that you may or may not like, but it's proving to be very useful. So a lot of you are going through a situation, maybe with a person, maybe with a, a loved one, maybe in work. It's like you're you're finding something out. There's something that you are discovering. Maybe you're doing research. Maybe you're looking into it. Maybe you're having conversations. Something is becoming clear though, and that is changing something about your transformation right now. Like I said in the beginning, it's a slow burn, but it doesn't have to be for all of us, right? Some of us, we need it to be slow. We, we're not trying to rush this whole process. For others, the closer you get to the truth, the closer you get to really finding something out and, and having that sense of, oh, I know what to do now, that's how we change the timeline. So with temperance, maybe you have Sagittarius placements. This is you saying, I can change my timeline because now I know what I'm working with. Right? Some of us could still be in the dark. We still don't know what we're working with, and that's fine. You go at your pace. The truth is going to be revealed to you no matter what. But if you go out there seeking the truth and actively being in this state of looking for this stuff, right? if you are actively participating in this journey, then you're going to find it a lot faster, and it is going to change things for you. But that is your choice. right? That is why we have free will. Because we can go out there and find things faster if we want to, but... There's also then, you know, just that certainty that it's going to come to us eventually, but eventually is not so secure, right? Eventually could be now, it could be 10 years. Do we really have that much time? It depends. It depends on the situation, but I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio, because I love this energy and I want it to just stay here for a while. So if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.